Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on the laptop display. Today we're going to be talking about different display types, and then we're going to talk briefly about some other laptop display topics. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And of course, we're going to start by talking about the display types. All laptops use some form of flat panel display and most of them will get the job done in a reasonable manner. However, that doesn't mean that all laptop displays are equal. All of the available types have their own benefits, but as with all things, if there is an upside, there is also a downside. And it's up to the user to decide which type of display is the right one for them. Often it'll come down to money, or battery power or just personal preference but it's up to the user to decide which one will work for them. So now let's talk about the liquid crystal display, the LCD. Basically it's composed of a liquid crystal solution that is placed between two sheets of polarizing material and a fluorescent backlight. An electrical current is used to change the orientation of the liquid crystals which will then refract light differently, giving you different colors. On their own, liquid crystals do not emit any light. What the user actually sees is the refracted light from the fluorescent backlight. Now, LCDs are inexpensive, they're lightweight, and they use relatively low amounts of power. They're a pretty good option for laptops. On the downside, their color representation may not be as good as with some other types of display technology. Also, as the liquid crystals don't emit any light on their own, LCDs may not be the best solution for a bright environment. Then we have the light emitting diode display, the LED display. Now the only difference between an LED display and an LCD is that the LED display uses an LED backlight instead of a fluorescent backlight. They have the same pros and cons as the LCD. So let's talk about the plasma display. The screen is composed of millions of gas filled cells. An electrical current is passed through those cells. It's used to cause the cells to fluoresce and emit a colored light. The benefits of a plasma display is that they have great color. They have a very fast response as well and they work well in bright environments. On the downside, they're heavier than LCD or LED displays. They're also more expensive and consume more power, thus reducing the amount of time that a laptop can operate off of its battery. Then there are organic light emitting diode displays, the OLED display. In this situation, the screen is composed of an organic compound film, which is luminescent when a current is applied to it. When a current is applied to the film, it lights up and presents the image on the display's surface. On the benefit side, they have great color on par, if not better, than most plasma displays. They also offer very fast response. They're a quick display type. They work well for games. They also work well in bright environments because they emit their own light. And they have extremely low power consumption, allowing for much longer runtime on batteries. On the downside, OLEDs are much more expensive than other types of displays. Until manufacturers can get higher yields, don't expect to see OLED display prices come down anytime soon. Now let's move on to other laptop display topics. And we're going to begin by talking about the backlight. LCDs use a fluorescent backlight. The fluorescent backlight requires AC power from a DC system. So an inverter is used to convert the DC battery power to the AC voltages required by the backlight. LED displays, on the other hand, use an LED backlight. The LED backlight requires DC power from a DC system, thus eliminating the need for an inverter. Now, LCD and LED displays may develop backlight problems leading to a dark screen. The backlight itself may fail or the inverter in an LCD may stop working. 
to troubleshoot whether it is the backlight or the display itself that's causing an issue, the best tool to use is a flashlight. If you shine a flashlight on a dark screen and you can see a faint image, then the issue is with the backlight. If you cannot see an image, then the problem lies with the actual display itself. In the modern laptop, it's not uncommon for there to be more in the laptop's cover than just the display. The cover is also the most popular place to put a webcam with their associated wiring and circuitry. Also, if the laptop comes with wireless capabilities, either 802.11 or Bluetooth, it's the most likely place for the antenna placement. In these situations, the manufacturer will try and run the antennas and wires around the edges of the display. You need to be aware of that so if you ever need to work on a laptop display, you need to realize there might be more in there than just the display. Now that concludes this session on the laptop display. We talked about display types and then we moved on to some other laptop display topics. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure I'll do another one soon.